Hey guys and welcome back to Olive Gray Avenue. We have a huge undertaking. We are going to be taking on this crazy garage. They have gotten out of hand with all the projects we've been working on. So we are transforming this entire garage. So if you have not already subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell. We release videos every Thursday. We're going to start with three easy ways to organize your garage. So we're starting on the organization for the garage. We have this wall here that's really not being used and a bunch of tools that need to get up off the ground and have a place to live. So we went to the store and got this system. Um, it's a cobalt, it's a K-rail uh, and hook kit. So we're gonna be using this to um, hang on the wall and put our shovels and a bunch of different tools on it. So, stay tuned. We cleared everything away from the wall where this is gonna be. And Steve started marking the studs. We determined exactly how high we wanted it off the ground. And once we had it in place, we used the provided screws and drilled straight through the rail into the studs. Done. <laughs> Can I hold you? If I could hold myself. There are a bunch of different hooks and accessories that you can buy to go on this so you can hang exactly what you need to and switch things out. Now on the other side of the garage, we're gonna be installing some lumber racks. All of our lumber is kind of all over the place and just leaning up against the wall. So this is a much better way to store your lumber so it doesn't get as warped and keeps it nice and off the ground. We've organized the left side and the right side of the garage. Now, how about the ceiling? So we had quite a bit of stuff that we needed to store, but also have easy access to. So I found this ceiling mounted lift on Amazon. You can buy some with a motor in it, but that's way more expensive. This you can hand crank or attach your drill and lift and lower it. So Steve installed this for us, but really all you have to do is find the joists in the ceiling to make sure you have those studs to secure it to. It was a tad bit complicated to get all set up, but once it was all in place, it was super easy to actually operate. Getting all four cords to be the right length for the platform to be level was complicated but once we figured it out it was awesome you can tell that the platform comes about four feet off the ground and goes within a couple feet of the ceiling but how close it will get to the ground depends on the height of your ceiling because we have 12 foot ceilings we use the hand crank once and every other time we use the drill because it's so much easier and faster Next week, we're going to start building a massive set of shelves. You don't want to miss out on what's to come for this garage, so make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next week.